example, we've just been alerted to a heron that is stuck in somebody's pond, stuck in wire or rope or something um, in a back garden. So we're off there now to see if we can free it and hopefully it'll be a rescue release. Um, I just hope it's not in the pond because it's very cold and I don't feel like getting wet and dirty. Right, let's see what we've got. How long has he been there? Any idea? All right. Okay. With herons, you have to be really careful with beaks because they stab at anything shiny and bright. And obviously, an eye is quite shiny, so the trick is to grab the neck first and then you're out of danger. You've got that there. How's that got stuck in all that? Though? It might be stuck in some. It is, it's stuck in some fishing line. That's what's done the trouble. Um, I'm going to have to cut a couple of your strands of your fishing line, I'm afraid. Job with fishing line, it's amazing how easy birds get stuck in it. They get a feather crossed into it and it all goes horribly wrong. There's not actually damage to feathers, but it is looking a little raw and nasty, so we'll probably take him back to the centre really just for a couple of days just to make sure this wound doesn't get infected. Good feather, good feather. Funny. It, it was a fishing wire. It's a fishing wire there. We had an owl the, the last year got stuck in just one little strand of fishing wire. They sort of flap into it and it just latches on and it's a nightmare. Okay. I'm sticking my beak out. Good boy. A heron. All right, fella. Oh, it's very superficial, like scratch. So this was from fishing line. Yeah, it's just where he's wiggling back and forth in it. Yeah. It tends to get quite abrasive. Oh, he's very thin. He is, isn't he? Mm. He's a bit of food. I'm going to put him on antibiotics for a few days. Just in case. Yeah. Put in my mind to set of bagpipes when you carry them like, like this. I could blow blow down his beak. Use them as a set of bagpipes. I don't think that's funny at all. I am not amused. No. Here you go. Come on, here you go. Good fella. Good fella. Right, Aaron, time to go home. Look, it's a nice lake, just nice for fishing. Yeah, it looks nice. You're facing the wrong way. Yep. You've got to turn around. Are you going to turn around or are you going to come out backwards? Eh? What are you going to do? Shall I get you out? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ready? I'm going to walk. Okay, I'm, going to, I'm going to take you back tonight. I'm going to fly. Oh no, he's flying. He's flying. No. That was quite cool, didn't he? I'm flying well, actually. Well, that was a nice little release, actually. I thought he was going to turn into a recapture because the wing looked a little bit dropped, but he walked off for about 20 or 30 yards and then took to the air and flew off beautifully. He flew right over the top of the lake next to us. Um, and he's back in the wild where he belongs. As long as he doesn't come and eat my fish, because then there'd be trouble. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound given will help save our threatened wildlife.